so excited for our next guest. She's so talented. She's a comic and an actress who's a rising star in the industry. And she's here today to give us all the deets on her new projects. Please welcome my girl, the hilarious Miss Pat. Miss Pat! You. I don't know about no iced out now. I'm old. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. You look beautiful. Okay, first of all, welcome to the show. Um, season one of the Miss Pat show had fans crying, laughing on a roller coaster of emotions, also learning some valuable life lessons. Um, what kind of reaction did you get from your family? Oh, uh, they all called and said, We made it. <laughs> I love that. I hear that. <laughs> so I go to my husband's family house for Thanksgiving and everybody wanted to take a picture with me because I'm on TV now. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, no, I've been married almost 30 years. Y'all didn't <laughs> want to take no picture of me, no picture with me when I was uh, forging checks, so don't ask for one now. <laughs> okay. I hear that. She, she did not confess to anything right now on national daytime television. <laughs> okay. Don't worry no. about it. Uh, it's, I'm, it's, I'm out of the statute of limitations. <laughs> <laughs> we all go, we all go. Do people expect you at like family events to be as funny as you are, like to be on all the time? No, they just pray I don't make them a joke. That's all. I hear that. And she could do that really well. Mm -hmm. Me and Miss Pat go back a long way. We do. And I'm we just do. so proud of you right now. Thank you, you know what I mean? You. It, you really show that you can make it from, you know, the stand up comedy world to having your own show. So I'm just so proud of you, sis. Well, thank you, know? you Donna. I'm proud of you too. That's why I watched the show. All right. Thank you well, you know, when you celebrated your 50th birthday, how was that? Uh, it was a surprise. Uh, if you notice that they spelled birthday wrong. <laughs> and so I was like, why is birthday spelled like that? They was like, because you talk like that. <laughs> that is funny. Uh, oh, you're cake. <laughs> that is that. funny. First of all, you don't look 50, not at all. At Very all. fabulous, well, and I'm here for it. Well, you know black don't crack, but These your knees do give out. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I, I love it. No knee action. <laughs> I'm so curious. Both of you guys are comedians. When did you find out that you were funny? Uh, you know what? I, I, I've always been outspoken. I yeah. would say stuff that other people wouldn't say. And so one time my son played Little League Baseball, mm -hmm. and the coach made his son the uh, pitcher. Mm -hmm. And I, so I decided to tell him what everybody was thinking. I was like, now you know your son suck. And we all know your son suck. And all of our kids is better than yours. And all the parents was laughing. They was like, oh my God, you are so funny. I'm like, I am for real. I'm for real. He sucks. <laughs> and so... <laughs> That's the funniest type of funny, when the person doesn't even mean to be funny, mm -hmm. and you're still you were just like, I'm just giving my opinion. Okay. Yeah, because my son was in the outfield. And I wanted my son to be on the base because those are the better kids. Mm -hmm. That's smart, you know what I mean? She's now, like, I'm funny. You know, she has her new show, Miss Pat. Yes. But you also, you're on a Ticker's Morning Show. You're a co-host. And you have your own podcast. Now, tell me about this podcast. What can we get, expect? Uh, you can get the unedited version. <laughs> okay. I say whatever I want to say, and I'm free to do whatever I want to do. Uh -huh. So you get, uh, we talk about everything. You get downright Miss Pat. It's not the TV version. Okay, because the TV version is tame. Well, well, the TV version that the, the Miss Pat show is pretty much what you get over at the podcast. Okay. I'm talking about today on the real. Okay. <laughs> Daytime television. Yes, I, I feel I that. It. So if you want the uncensored version of Miss Pat, head on over to the podcast and the show. That's right. I love that you also have uh, a stand-up Netflix special. Congratulations. Yes. Thank you. I love the fact that Wanda Sykes got to be a part of that. You worked with her and also Robert Townsend. What was that like? Uh, I, thank you, Wanda, for pr producing my show. She was wonderful. Robert Townsend, uh, when I was like, I want Robert Townsend to direct, they were like, are you serious? I'm like, yes, because he knows comedy. But uh, I didn't know what I was getting into. He worked the skin off of me. I had to go once a week and record myself. Uh, I had to keep a video of every performance. Then take it back to him. He looked yeah. at everything. I had to rehearse in front of him for four hours for one day a week. And I thought it was the craziest thing. But you know what? It When it was time to take this special, it fell out of my mouth like water. Yes. Wow. That's why he did what he did. Yeah, he you knows know what, what he's doing. And did he know you? Did he know you initially? No, he did not. <laughs> <laughs> he, uh, I had talked to him about directing an episode of my show, and when I asked, uh, he was like, uh, no, I had to go get a really famous person to convince him to do it, and he did it. Oh, good, good. I love That's it. good. I mean, did you ever think you would, you know, while you were on the road doing all that comedy, that you 
that this would happen to you? You know, I always knew I was, I had a story. You know, I have a background, you know, the way I was raised. But to be at this point, I thought I would get something, but I didn't think I would get this much, yeah. like the Miss Pat show. I put it out in the universe. Lord, I need a show. Lord, I need a book. So I wanted to write a book, and God sent me somebody who could spell correctly, and she ghost wrote the book. But just give, because I know you're new to Miss Pat. Yeah. Just give us just a little taste of who you really are. Um, I grew up in the inner city of Atlanta. Um, I had two kids by a married man by the time I was 15. Got shot a couple times, dropped out of school, and became a comedian. Oh, I, I forgot that I used to traffic cocaine. So... <laughs> <laughs> it's it's know, me being like... I know it sounds serious, but the way she breaks it down, it's hilarious. But that's a gift. That's absolutely a gift to be to able sell to cocaine? take... No, no, Miss <laughs> Pat. Miss Pat, it is a gift to take the moments of your life that some might say were not the greatest and turn them into something that makes people I'm laugh. I'm gonna let you know that's not a gift. We can see you to jail like you <laughs> me. <laughs> Okay, but you spent a lot of time on the road. So do you have any uh, crazy fan stories? I do. So before before uh, the Miss Pat show came out on BET Plus, um, it was my fan base was mostly white because I did Joe Rogan. I did a lot of white yeah. podcasts. So that's who came out to see me. You know, it takes uh, my people a little minute to catch on to us. Right. So when it came out on BET Plus, black people just run up on me and grab me in the uh, <laughs> in the chokehold. <laughs> you my auntie. So you know I'm a convicted felon. So I walk around with a pocket. Knife, and I just, <laughs> hey, who are you? They're like, I watch your show. I said, oh, okay, let me put the knife up. Let me oh. give you. <laughs> okay, that's you family. You know, hold on right there. But, but you, they be in the grocery store. I love my black people because they be in the grocery store. They don't care who you are. They gonna, black people gonna be black people. They run up on me like, let me pack, give me that wig. I'm like, if I take this wig off, I'm gonna look like an NFL player. <laughs> I was. I was in Walmart and this black lady recognized me and when I, when I started to talk to her, she was like, you want to buy some food stamps? I'm like, oh, I do, but I might end up on TMZ. She was like, so in that case, I'm going to pass just this one time. No, I'm going to be honest with you, I had the wrong girlfriend with me. If I had a bougie girlfriend with a really good job, had I had my boo, Quisha, she would have, you heard the name Quisha, we would have got them stamps. <laughs> You know, Miss Pat, there's been a lot of discussion about comedians lately mm -hmm. and what we can and cannot discuss. What are your thoughts on it being a comedian? Is anything off limits? It shouldn't be. Mm -hmm. Not to me. I do it and say what I want to say. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't I don't want anybody to put their hands on me, but I'm gonna hit you back. <laughs> 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 Baby, I'm coming up out of this wig and this bra because I'm gonna fight. <laughs> you about to see a whole nother side of me, but you should be, I mean, it's comedy. You should be able to take everything and, and you know, I mean some stuff might be a little off limit. I go there because I've been there. Mm -hmm. So usually my stuff is just concerning me. I, I do this really funny bit about my daddy dying. You know, and cashing his in his insurance policy, and I was so mad at him I could have killed him again. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, but I think you know how to do a joke, and yes. I think some people don't. And I think it's a time and a place for certain mm -hmm. things. Like, do you think it was appropriate what Chris Rock, you know, what he joked about at that time? You know. I, I don't, I, <laughs> I'm gonna tell you this. At first, I didn't, it was like, you don't talk about black women hair. Right. Because you know, we don't wear this because we have to. This is convenient. Right. So that's just off limit, period. Then just last week, my baby hair started falling. Now she got alopecia. So I wanted to slap somebody too. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> My have a nine-year-old that's got alopecia. Her hair just falling out. Uh, ba poor baby be walking through the house. It looked like somebody just dropping danger. I'm like, come here, baby. I'm going to uh -huh. pick your hair back up. Uh -huh. And I got to swoop it back up. It's just, I mean, on two sides of her head, she scapped like a little... She scapped. But I told her it's going to be all right. I'm going to get her a wig from Quisha, and we're going to be OK. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. So yeah. I kind of know, you know, the, the hurt on her face when you're dealing with black hair. And this, the second season of the Miss Pat show, I actually did an episode about the pain behind black hair. Mm. You know, being tender-headed, your mama hitting your hand with a comb yep. and being called nappy-headed. I did a whole episode of how my mama scarred me with dealing with black hair. Wow. See, and this is why it's important to have our stories, you yeah. know, women of color, because <laughs> a lot of people don't know about this kind of stuff Hear and the pain that's it. It's so yeah. interesting. Absolutely. Mm. And speaking of pain, 
How do you decompress? Because I, I see that you obviously turn a lot of it into laughter, but how do you decompress? Child, I go home and unsnap these 12 snaps on the back of my bra and let them hang. <laughs> Not 12. <laughs> Not 12. 12. 12. <laughs> OK. Well, I unsnap my bra and take off this wig, and I just go to bed. That's how I decompress. Just chill. Yeah, I'll be looking like another man laying next to my husband. <laughs> <laughs> My husband, be, <laughs> my husband be like, clear your throat. Clear your throat. No. Clear your throat. Because I got a deep voice, I be like, I love you. He's like, oh, clear your throat. Now, besides the, the upcoming episodes, um, season two of Miss Pat is coming this summer, and mm -hmm. you told us about the pain with the hair episode. Any other important episodes coming Um, up? I talked about, and my show is 95% based off of my life, so I talked about the molester in my life, mm. uh, which was my mama boyfriend. I did, we did a really great episode on that. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I also have a gay daughter, so last season we did an episode on about my daughter coming out, and now I get to visit her girlfriends and the whole reaction that I really had in real life. So we get to the nitty gritty on that show. It makes people, I remember when I was doing the episode about the black hair, the black women in the audience, because we do it in front of a live audience in Sorry. Atlanta, and black women was getting mad. You could hear them on the speaker, what's wrong with that mama? And I was like, ooh, this is going to be good. They ready, <laughs> they ready to beat the act up because the real mama's dead. Oh my goodness. Wow. So we really go there that, you know, regular TV, TV uh, won't allow you to go. Mm -hmm. And that's why I'm so glad to be on BET Plus, because they let me be me. They take all my mispronounced words and say, just put them in the strip, baby. <laughs> <laughs> put them in a what? <laughs> script. There you go. <laughs> I love it. Well, we actually have a clip from season one of The Miss Pat Show. Let's take a look. What's your work history? I used to be a small business owner and a pharmaceutical rep. Oh, you have a background in pharmaceutical sales. Oh, no, nothing like that, girl. I used to sell crack or jacks. It was seasonal. <laughs> I literally looked at said, oh, I know where this is going. Exactly. I already got schooled. I love it. You know, you're doing so much yeah. right now with the podcast, with the show, you know, with the radio show. What else is next for Miss Pat? Uh, I hope to produce more shows. To be honest with you, Lonnie, I would love to uh, create another one. I have some ideas mm -hmm. that say, I, I always say they don't let the wrong per show the wrong person how to sell something. Because, you know, I'm a good salesman. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for stopping Thank by and hanging you. out with us. I laughed so much right now. I hope that you guys have too. Be sure to catch her new stand-up special. Y'all want to hear something crazy? <laughs> Streaming now on Netflix. Already and you can funny. catch season one of The Miss Pat Show right now on BET, BET Plus, and Paramount Plus. You don't want to miss it.